Well, I'd like to welcome you back to the American Adjuster Academy's online and video Xactimate 28 segment. Our lesson today is going to be over importing and labeling photos. I like to do this as soon as I get my insured info entered. It just uh, gives me an opportunity to refresh myself, refresh my memory on what I looked at on that claim uh, going forward as I write the estimate. Gives me some uh, some visual clues as to uh, what kind of damage we had there, and, and maybe I might have missed something on my scope notes that the photos uh, uh, refresh and, and renew my memory some. So we've got our insured info already entered in here. We went through the coverage loss, the parameters, all of that. Now what we want to do is import our photos that we took of the damage or non-damage of the house uh, into Xactimate. So if you'll go up here to the top left, you're going to see a little tab uh, that says Images. And just left click on that one time. You're going to have a screen pop up like this. There should be nothing in it. If there is, then uh, you've already got images imported for that claim. So to get our images in, we just simply go down here to this Load Images tab right here and left click on it. It's going to take us back to our desktop or wherever we might have been. And I'm going to actually look up my images. And I've got these already preloaded into a folder. I'm going to just, <clears throat> you can hold your shift key or your control key down, however it may be. Left click on it, hold your shift key, and you can come down here and you can get all of them. Or you can hold your control key down and left click and take out the ones you want or add the ones you want. So I'm just going to take all of those and just click open. You'll see that they're starting to populate. Once they populate, give it a few minutes, a few seconds, come back to the top and you can left click on it and you can see I always take a copy of my a picture of my lost notice. Here's a picture of my risk. I'm going to label that risk. So right here where it says image name, I'm just going to put risk. Again, here's another one. If I wanted to label that, I could do the same thing. Come on down. I've got my shingle gauge. I can tell it what it is. It's a 30-year laminate. I give it some sort of description. A pitch gauge is next. That looks like a 412 pitch. It's pretty simple. No need for a description. Showing how many layers of shingles. One layer. I've got an overview of the roof. Uh, I can enlarge this by clicking on that. I can see all of my hail hits in my test square. It looks like that's north with 10 plus hits on that one. Just go in here and put north slope. Ten plus hits. And you just come on down through and you label all of your photos uh, as, as you want to. If for any uh, reason you need to annotate this at all, you can uh, click right here on this red arrow. And you got a, a larger screen. If you need to point at something, you can add an arrow. You can add the line thickness. You can put your arrow in and point at something right there. So that's how you would annotate that. You can add text in. So basically you can tell your examiners exactly what was happening and annotate your image uh, that way. If you need to move photos, you can simply just grab one, 
pull it up. I'm holding my left key, uh, left mouse key down and place it. I'll move it back, grab it, bring it back down. So you can move, do whatever you want to do. If for some reason you need to add uh, any bold or italic, uh, italic uh, uh, lettering to this or underline anything, there's the opportunity to do that there. All right. And now these images will be permanently put into this claim. And when you print your estimate, they will print out with it. So I hope that helps and have a good day and look forward to uh, lesson number four. Thank you.